Hi Jurassic Cuties, Winnie here. Today we're going to draw May Lee from Disney's Turning Red. So let's get started. To draw this cute girl, let's first start by drawing her eyes. So I'm going to come right here and draw a circle. So because she has glasses, it's a little bit more complicated. So we're going to start with her eyes just to make sure everything get, um, is in the right place. So we have one circle in. Let's come right across, say about this much. Enough room for the glasses, the bridge of the glasses. So about right here. Go ahead and draw another circle. Now that my circle's in, let's make them draw so cute eyes. So two small circles inside for highlights and then a curved line at the bottom and shade in the top. And lines at the bottom and same thing over here. So now that I have my eyes in, let's come up about right here in the side right here. We're just going to add one lash just to spruce it up and anchor the eye. And same thing right here, just right on the side. Just flicker out a little lash there. Then from there, we're going to come in between her eyes. So say about right here, and I'm just going to draw a small curve. So this is going to be the bridge of her glasses. And then I'm going to draw an oval around her eye. So let's come about right here. I'm going to draw a curve. I want to make sure my curve is big enough to surround her eye. And then from there, I'm going to go ahead and lightly draw an oval that comes out about right here and comes right back in there. So same thing over here. So we just want to start with a curve first. Make sure it's wide enough to surround her eye and then go ahead and draw your oval. So just like the other side. There. Okay, so we have her glasses in. Then from there, let's come in between her glasses and we're just going to lightly just draw a little curve right here for her nose. And then let's give her a big smile. So right here, I'm just going to draw a deeper curve right in between. And then a deep, kind of like this bottom of a U shape right here. And let's give her a tongue. And then some teeth right at the top. There. And I'll just, uh, you know, I'll go ahead and shade this in. So you can see a little bit better and just cap it off a little bit there and then let's come uh let's see here let's come up nice and high so say about right here and i'm going to draw a curve that kind of slants down right over her eye and thicken it up for her brow and let's go ahead and shade that in as well and same thing over here Actually, you know what? Maybe I shouldn't have shaded it in, huh? It might be red when she turns red. <laughs> well, I'll just shade it in for now so you can see a little bit better. And then from there, let's start to frame her face. So we're going to need to come right here in the center of this oval, and we're going to draw this little hinge right here for her glasses on both sides. From there, let's go ahead and start her face. So I'm going to come right back to where her glasses are right here and I'm going to draw a curve and same thing right here and come right underneath her mouth. So I'll just give it a little bit space. So let's say about right here. I'm just going to give myself a point since I'm drawing pretty big so I know where I'm going. So it's kind of widen out a little bit and then bring it in towards this point. So make it nice and round and extra cute. And same thing here. So I'm going to make out the cheeks a little bit wider and connect. And 
From there, let's go ahead and draw the top. So let's come about right here. And we're going to go up and curve. So we're going to curve above her brow. So let's come right about here and curve in. So same thing on the other side, about right here. Let's draw this little curve right into this area. And before I forget, let's draw her ear. So we're going to come back right here and just put in a big curve. And for some details, uh, I can go ahead and just draw two curves. So same thing over here. Just pop up your ear right here. Nice big ears. And then for detail, two curves inside. There. I know it doesn't look like her yet, but I promise it will. <laughs> okay, so here we go. So let's bring this up a little bit more. And we're going to go above, kind of like where her brow is. Then from there, her hair parts on the side. So I'm going to come above right here. Give myself a point. This is where her hair parts. And I'm going to draw a curve right over her brow to there. And then this side is going to curve down and connect there. And so then in this area, I stop because there's this little barrette that she has. So I'm just going to pop it out a little bit. Just pop out a curve. From there, let's come back to where her hair parts. I'm going to go up a slight curve. And about right there, I'll start to go up on this side and down on this side. So now let's work on this side. We're going to come back. And about right here, we're going to go up and come down to about right here where I know her um, hair clip is. And so let's just bring this down to about right here. And I'm going to finish up her hair clip. So at this angle, and then go ahead and thicken it up right there. And then we can go ahead and pop this out. Come near her ear, curve, and then go around her ear. So now it's starting to look like her, right? So cute. And then from there, let's work on this side. So same thing. This side's a little bit simpler. We're going to come in a little bit. And then when it comes to about her ear area, we're going to go out. And around. So same thing here. So her hair doesn't get in the way. So let's finish up her hair. So about right here, I'm going to zigzag a little bit and just taper it in right there. So same thing here. So you come down here, zigzag a little bit and then just taper it in. And then for some details for her hair, you can draw some parting lines right here. And then she has these two clips as well on this side. So just draw that really quickly. And you can come here as well and draw some lines there. There. Okay, so we've pretty much done with her face. Let's go ahead and draw her body. So right in the center and about right here, we're going to give her a little neck in here. And I'm going to curve out and down for her shoulders. So about right here, curve out and down. Now that we have her shoulders kind of in, we're going to find her where her armpits are. So I'll say about right here, a little bit lower because she's wearing the sweater. So say about right here. And I'm going to just draw a slight curve out on both sides. All right there, just so I know where I'm working with. And then let's come back for some details and give her neckline right here, curve. And then her collar right in the center. I'm just going to put out, pop out two curves to come out. And then let's um, work on her sweater. So let's bring this down a little bit more, curve it out a little bit. And let's see here, a little bit more. So I'll say about right there, now that we're pretty even, I'm going to bring in a curve. And before I finish this, I'm going to come towards the center and pop in this upside down V. And out. So just put a little notch right in there before you go ahead and finish up the curve. There. 
and then her skirt let's come out and we're going to pop out angle line here and here so to make it a little bit easier i'm just going to draw three of these pleats so let's come to the center let's say about right here and here then i'm going to draw an angle line down to about right there and here and now that i'm pretty even i'm going to go ahead and connect it with a curve then let's come to the side and let's bring in another angle so let's come about right here we're going to angle and connect so it's as if you're continuing this curve so same thing over here continuing this curve bring this out just like the other side and connect and then in between is where you put a little line right here to make it look like a pleated skirt. So hopefully that helps and simplifies the drawing a little bit for you. Okay, so then from there, let's draw her legs. So I'm having them apart. So let's come about right here, just so we make sure we're centered, about right here. So let's go ahead and draw an angle line down and here. about right there and then I'm going to start to bring it out for her shoes I pop it out and this part's going to come down straighter a little bit and then let's round this off right here and then connect there so let's do the same thing on this side so we have something to follow makes it a little bit easier on this side so right about here then we're going to straighten out a little bit and here, just bring it down so our ankles are thinner, about right there, and then we're going to come out, just like the other side. And we just want to make sure we end the same area on the other side, and round it off. There. And then for some details, um, let's draw her shoe. So I'm going to come about right here. Put in a curve and then another curve and let's see here let's um put in her tights right here so we're going to end her tights about right here and then she has socks right about here so i'm going to give it a double little cuff area and then put in some lines so you know that's her socks and then for some details on her shoe she has this little part that pops out on her tennis shoe and let's draw the sole right there. And then we're gonna come right here with a curve and in. And then her laces, I'm just gonna put two little lines right there so it doesn't get too complicated. Then from there, let's do the same thing on this side. So we can start with her tights and her socks, if that's easier. And then let's see here, we're gonna do the same thing. So about right here, I'm gonna draw a curve and then finish off her shoe. And then this little part that pops out in her tennis shoe. Curve, connect, laces, and the sole of her tennis shoe there okay so we're done with that and then now to draw her arms so her arms are going to be on her waist so let's come right here where's where her armpits are let's let's come about right here and i'm going to draw this angle line first for her detail in her sweater this kind of makes it a little bit easier for me to figure out her arm so let's bring this out so remember her hand's going to be about right here is where we want to so I'm going to angle this out a little bit more so and then come right about right here so it's a little bit straighter because we need room for um, to make sense for her arms so let's bring this out 
because usually her arms would probably be on her hip, but because it's on her waist, we have to angle it out more. Just bring this down to about right here, and then give it a little cuff, and then we're gonna angle her hand and fingers there. So right here, just add a little crease. And so same thing on this side. So about right here, a little bit straighter, just like the other side, and then down to about right there. And bring it in. And cuff. And so once again, angle, angle, and then fingers. And right here, crease line as well. There. And then some details on her sweater. Let's come down right here where her buttons are. We're going to come straight down to about right there. And then we're going to connect this part and come down. And then on this side, come down and then right here and here for some details. And I'll just come in here, put in some lines so we know it's like a sweater for some detail and then some buttons inside. So some circles. I'll just put four there. Okay, and then there's some beautiful detail on her sweater right here. We're going to do that when your color. Just use a white colored pencil over the um, over the pink to give that detail. And last but not least, I'll just add a heart right here. Of course, right? To make her my draw so cute, May Lee from uh, Disney Pixar's Turning Red. I really hope that I helped you draw her um, fun and easy and that you love how she turned out. Thanks so much for watching. And if you loved it, please make sure to subscribe and turn on your notification bell so you won't miss any new Draw So Cute videos. See you later.